Presidente.com here with Patrick Laney. We're talking non-public group four semifinals. We got a huge showdown on Friday night, 7 p.m. We got St. Peter's Prep versus St. Joe's. Patrick, when you think of St. Joe's at Montvale, you think of that stout defense. Let's just go right into about that D. Coming off back-to-back -back shutouts, as you know, they went down to Richland, mm -hmm. beat St. Augustine Prep 28-0, shutout. Last two weeks ago, shutout for Emma's Catholic. So they're coming off back to back shutouts. We've talked about all season long how this defense, you know, they bring pressure up the middle. The defensive line is stout. Ibn Foster in the middle, you know, really keeps it all together. Mm -hmm. Louis Asus has just been playing lights out as the linebacker there. And I just look for this defense just to take St. Peter's Prep out of their game, to be honest. You know, St. Peter's Prep's offense, obviously, they're going to have a challenge going up against a team like St. Joe's, but they've got the weapons there. All season long, I've been talking about quarterback Jonathan Lewis, and, you know, at the beginning of the year, I was a little hard on John, Jonathan just because he struggled a little bit in his first year as a starter, made some, some young mistakes, but he is really impressed lately. He had five touchdown passes, 232 yards in their first round victory over Notre Dame, and he's got the weapons. He's got the guys like Colton Huber, KJ Gray, who is... I didn't think it was possible. He's gotten better this season than before. And you know I'm high on him as a receiver. 111 yards, two touchdowns, head, headed to Boston College. They've got a stout offensive line. And, you know, we talk about St. Joe's defense, but St. Peter's Prep, they've got a great defense too. We've talked about the Adam, Adam Alola brothers all season yes. long, highly touted sophomores, Shane Simon in the secondary, and then KJ and Colton, they're also stud defensive backs. Uh, track down running backs and receivers. So don't count out St. Peter's Prep just yet. I love the names. I love it. I love everything you're saying, but I have to question the schedule here at St. Pierre's Prep. Last year, you know, big win after big win, but this year, who's their signature win? I'm not sure they have one right now. I'll go with, you know, just recently, they had a tough 52 to 44 victory over Eastern Christian Maryland, who, if you don't forget, they took down then number one Primus Catholic at the beginning of the season. Eastern Christian, they're not a bad team. They're a good team. You know, they're, they're well respected in Maryland, so I give them that signature win. They had some tough losses at the beginning of the year. They lost to St. John Bosco, but they're ranked, I believe, number one in the country. And they hung tough with St. John Bosco, St. John Bosco for three quarters. That fourth quarter got away from them a little bit, but they were right there with them in the second half. It's just I look at St. Joe's, you know, they beat Bosco, mm -hmm. you know, they beat PC, took care of business against the Paul, they beat St. Edward of Ohio, a nationally ranked team. Just the strength of schedule. I think they're coming in. I think they're a better team. And um you know, that same Eastern Christian team that put up, what, 48 points on St. Peter's Prep, St. Joe's held them to six. So I, I, I just look at the defense. I think St. Joe's is battle-tested. I'm not, I love St. Peter's. I think they're mm -hmm. a talented team. I think Joe's is just a little bit more superior in this one. However, mm -hmm. again, as we talk about the defense all the time, we got to talk about the offense, too, and it has had its struggles at times. Uh, Nick Patty's, you know, a sophomore quarterback. He, they, they need him to manage the game, and they have hit walls at times, and they can't hit any walls against St. Peter's, Peter's Prep for sure. You know, Pat, just in discussion with you, it sounds like you're going with Joe's to come out on top of this one. What's your prediction? Yeah, I started with Joe's, Bergen Catholic at the beginning of the playoffs, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm still sticking with that. So I'm going to take Joe's to win a, a pretty close one, but defensively, a defensive and low scoring game comes out on top on you know, 24. 21, something like that. So I'm going to go opposite of that in, in both regards. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Okay. I think both offenses are going to come out swinging. I'm going to go with St. Peter's Prep, the home team, at Haven Point. They're going to get back to the championship game. I'll go with St. Peter's Prep, 38-31. In a close, tough game, but Martyrs come out on top in this one. All right, I like it. I'm Pat Lanning. You heard it from Braulio Perez. We're talking non-public group four semifinals. We're previewing Bergen Catholic and Don Bosco next. Stay